2014. It's a very special year for me. <coughs> special because of this letter I got a couple of weeks ago, and I'm going to read some of that to you shortly. It's also a special year because our eldest son started school for the first time. I have two children, and they're both rigid ditch, dinky die, true blue Aussies. As you can probably tell from my accent, I was not born here. I come from a beautiful country, it's a troubled country in South America called Venezuela. My parents, they come from neither here nor there. They come from Austria and Czechoslovakia. And in those days, they were deeply troubled countries too, reeling from the mayhem of World War II. South America, and Venezuela in particular, was a welcoming country, thriving and full of opportunities. So by now you're probably wondering why an immigrant architect with a funny accent <laughs> has come here to talk to you guys about the great new Australian dream. I'll tell you why. When my family decided to leave Venezuela, my parents were in the unique position to be able to choose which country we would go to. And they chose Australia. They chose Australia. Why? Because in 1985, Australia, to them, was the best place in the world. Now, where would you go today if you wanted to go to the best place in the world? I'm not really sure that I know where I would go. I'm not sure where the next best place in the world is. In fact, I'm not even sure that I know what the, the best place in the world will be in 5, 10, 50 or 100 years time from now. Will we be in a position where we will need to seek elsewhere in the hope that somebody has laid the foundations for a new best place on earth? When you want to reach a geographical destination, you need the coordinates in order to, course, uh, to plot a course on your GPS. Without those coordinates, without that destination, a ship would be adrift at sea. Now, if your destination is a better place in the future, you need a very, very special type of coordinates in your GPS. We call those coordinates a vision or a dream. Without a vision, without a dream, whole countries will go adrift in time. One week after Australia Day, 2014, do we know what the new Australian dream is? Have we punched that dream into our GPS? Is that dream even strong enough to turn us again into the best place on earth once more? Or are we, as a country, adrift as I believe we are? Adrift because we're focusing our energy in trying to salvage what is left of the old Australian dream. But the world has changed. The world is changing every day. We also need to change our dream. We're not adrift because we forgot to punch our coordinates into the GPS. We're adrift because we, as a country, have neglected to dream. Today, Australia is in desperate need to begin dreaming again. Now, a dream of the magnitude that can take a whole country on a new course requires big thinking. Not the kind of thinking that we talk about when we speculate what your new mobile phone will look like five years from now, or the latest social media trend, the next big industry boom. No. Most of those things we can predict. We know that in the near future we will be driving driverless electric cars. 
we will be faced with the most amazing medical innovations and we will be 3D printing just about anything you can imagine. We need to forget practicality. And we look, need to look at what is impossible. We need to forget logic and get completely, completely emotional. We need to stop dreaming with our heads and start dreaming with our hearts. Now, I can't claim that I have cultivated the kind of big thinking that's required to write the manual for the great new Australia. But after 20 years of architecture, I can with confidence claim that I am an expert in, in, um, in radical thinking. And uh, that is exactly what is required at the moment. So, this is where my little letter comes into the story. You see, I decided to do something completely ridiculous and ask the future generation what Australia is like. I figured that if it's any good, they will figure out a way of sending the reply back to me. <laughs> well, guess what? They did. <laughs> this is an email I received last Tuesday. It is from my great-granddaughter. <laughs> She's 11 years old. This is what she wrote. Dear great-grandpa Win, last week was my 11th birthday and Dad gave me a letter from you with instructions that he said were very important. He has told me your story and that of grandpa many times and I felt very special to get this request from you from so long ago. You asked me to write down a few things that are great in my world. Things that are different from yours. Well, I will do my best. But first, it is hard for me to imagine how frightening it must be to live in a time when your activities have started the collapse of the planet's ecosystem. And still, governments were opposed to stopping these problems. It must have been terrifying. But I am glad to say that that is no longer the case. Let me tell you about Australia. Australia is administered by a council of wise elders. These are people of outstanding integrity who counsel carefully about important matters that affect us all. They are volunteers and they are really some of the most amazing people that I have ever they are a true inspiration to us all. The judicial system that you grew up with has long been replaced by the Charter of the Earth, which was proposed by Australia to the world and has since been agreed to internationally as the foundational principles that protect and perpetuate healthy life on Earth without compromise. Australia is the biggest producer of organic food the country has now officially banned any form of agriculture that is not completely closed loop, meaning it has no useless or harmful byproducts. Everything has a good purpose. This is why Australia is known in the world as the green and gold heart. Energy is free and completely clean. What you need, however, is a gadget for generating it. Last month, my uncle won an award for a new bacterial electricity generator that has nearly twice the output of the old ones. It uses bacteria that create electricity while purifying water at the same time. That kind of project is his pet love. He has so many crazy ideas. We live in Brisbane most of the time, but we often spend several months in the Barrier Reef. Mum's favourite pastime is marine biology and she's working with a team of other scientists on an intensive program to bring the reef life back to what it used to be when you were a kid. On our last trip, she was very excited because the reef looked better than it had in the last 80 years. I am not sure what that means, but when we went diving together, 
There were so many amazing coloured sea creatures. It was spectacular. Dad will take this letter to a friend at a university. He believes he has a way to send an email across time back to you. I know you will get this in time for your speech. <laughs> Australia is such a wonderful place. My teachers tell me that the only reason it still exists is because of a great transformation that a group of courageous and wonderful people in your time started. Thank you, great-grandpa and great-grandma, for being some of those people. Tell all the people who believe that this world was possible that I am proud to report that it was worth it. It is even better than you could have imagined. This is the best place in the world. This is Australia. Love and kisses, your great-granddaughter. When I received that letter, I could not help but feel awash with optimism and hope. And I do hope that, that, that you feel the same way. You see, every single thing that my great-granddaughter spoke about in her email is possible. Perhaps it should be those very things that we punch into our GPS to begin with. But as we leave here today, after the many great speeches you're going to enjoy, I want to leave you with one question. What great thing will you be responsible for that your grandchildren will write about? What great thing will you be responsible for that your great-grandchildren will write about with pride from the best place on earth and say, this is Australia. <laughs>